Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with another little um, resin piece. As you know, I haven't done many uh, just resin art. I've resined acrylic painting, but I haven't done many acrylic art, uh, resin, you know, all resin art and getting your colours and, and shapes from resin. But I have been sent this beautiful prism, uh, ultra metallic prism pour. This is by Colour Art and I've been sent it um, as a gift from Capriole Shabby Chic, my online supplier that I get my gear from. So this prism pour from Colour Art in the US is basically a ready-made paint ready to use and it says that the uses are on canvas wood metal glass acrylic pouring epoxy fluid projects which is what i'm going to do today do not add a drying retardant or painting extenders which is like floetrol it reduces the intensity and the metallic finish to thin dilute with water so it is water based but because i'm going to use such a small amount in my resin it shouldn't matter <laughs> so i'm told so i'm super excited because i've got these colors and i'm i mean look how absolutely gorgeous they are so where are we look at this this is the where's my color oh crystal Chris Don, Chris, I can't, I'm looking at it up, Chris Son Cola, Chris Son, oh I don't know, and this one is the Salon Simonon, Simonon, I could never say that, and Golden Honey, and obviously this looks like a bronze, yeah, burnished copper, burnished copper, but look at these two colours, oh my giddy eye, hot orchid, so I have got to put these colours together, but I wanted white as well in, you know, maybe I won't end up using all these colors, I'm not sure. Um, but the only white I had was the color effects that's uh, the same sort of um, liquid acrylic. So I'm trying the Armour color effects by Plaid. And this one is, uh, yeah, it's just um, a pearl, pearl white. So I'm trying it and that's it. I've got my Just Resin, which I'm really enjoying using. It's absolutely been drying perfect and so simple. Equal parts, so 50% red cap, 50% blue. So it's 50-50. So you've got to get the measurements pretty exact. So I haven't mixed them together yet because I'm going to, um, I didn't want them to start, um, what you call in it, um, Oh, you know I didn't want this process starting where they can harden so once you've actually mixed them together then they start their process of um, forming you know the resin the epoxy resin and then they can um, harden so I'm going to get all these I mean I am so excited these look absolutely really gorgeous like look at oh, oh look at that so metallic and beautiful I'm not sure if, I, I presume that you can do all the bloom technique that's out of pre, oh, born and dip my lid in there. The bloom technique with them. Um, I haven't got into the bloom thing because there's so many doing it. You don't need me to do it as well. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it will do everything. So I've got this resin ready to be mixed, but I've also got my colors from there I've just put like one um, little popsicle stick of colour in the bottom of each of these cups and then I'm going to pour the resin on top of the colour and mix, mix, mix. So I will spare you the boring bits. I've got my, this is just my muffin tray. This is like a silicon little cake tray that I had. So if I have any leftover resin, I've been pouring it in my muffin. Can muffin do the lacquer thingy 
So I've got my I've got my actual big u butte heat gun for this. I haven't got my small one, I've got my big one. And I've got the nitrile gloves. So I'll get mixing, guys. I'll get mixing. So I've mixed, I've mixed my resin and I'm going to just add it to my colours now. Um, because I've mixed the resin for three minutes or four minutes, probably longer. So you give it a really, really, really good stir. So I'm just going to add to my colour, see how much I think I'll, I think I will stir those as I go to use them as well. So I've just got this, I think it's a six millimetre um, MDF board. All I've done is wipe it over. I have seen other people use these boards and I've used it on a previous resin piece that I did and it's turned out absolutely gorgeous. So. I'm going to get my husband to cut me some more of those because we've just got a huge big piece of um, MDF so that we bought for another project and we didn't use it. So I've just got the iso isocol rubbing alcohol, which that one's only 64% alcohol. The isoprol, I'm sure it says the percentage, but... I'm not gonna worry about that. So I'm gonna just pour directly on this. As I said, I've just wiped it of all any dust. So I am so excited to try these colors, the prism in resin. So there you go. So I am just gonna. I think I'm meant to do, yeah, thicker areas. When I had a um, one-on-one -on -one class with the lovely Carly uh, Johnson of CJ Art, um, she does some awesome resin pieces and hopefully I'll have a YouTube channel up soon. Yeah, she said to not pour in very thin lines unless it's for, I think she told me that, <laughs> um, unless it's for like detailing, you know, because when I come to blow it, okay. I want the gold, I suppose, in there as well. So this is not looking as goldy gold. Well, oh yeah, it's actually very sparkly. So that's what we want. Sparkle in your life, absolute sparkle. going to be interesting when I put that colour effects because obviously it's a different brand and it might react in a different way than it would normally we not sure but you just go for it hey you just go for it just give me making sure that it's mixed well Look at these colours. Oh, so delicious. I'm really hoping I've got enough and I should have done the right thing and um, used the calculator for the amounts required so I don't get caught short. Because I suppose it's always better to have more, a little bit more than less of. Oh, itchy nose. Must be a surprise coming my way. I don't need any more, thank you very much. Uh, let's make sure I mix this one in really well. Certainly not going to have any for those moulds. There is me thinking I'm going to have plenty. I 
I'm going to start to spread this around in a second. I'm just really worried about using this white now. Oh, just in case it... Anyway, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'll put it on the edges, maybe just a bit through. All that emerald green colour, whatever it's called, is just stunning. I think it might be all right. You've got to try these things. It is, it's not a very big canvas, uh, MDF board, so you know, if I do get it wrong, at least it'll teach me the important lessons that you obviously need to work on when you're using resin. Just put my cups out of the way so I don't knock them over. Look at that beauty. Uh, I'll get in with my big gun. Um, first the bubbles first, or heat the paint up probably. Heat, heat the resin. fingers to spread this out a bit get it over the edges because I want it to come over my edges I'm, I'm not too worried about using my fingers as you know in paints or, or resin obviously Just gonna get it to... I'm not too worried about it coming over the edge of this one because I have got a frame exactly the right size that this will fit into so you won't even see my edges um, right i'm gonna try and blow that around now try and get that off so I don't get glue uh, the resin all over my heat gun let's try and heat it up in my gun up like that so I don't lean it down it I've got definitely got a gubber in there it's not I never mix the paint obviously because that's oh I do hope that cures because I didn't obviously mix the um, prism up well with the resin I'm oh, just using some of this resin that's dropped for my edges. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. 
and I'm absolutely sure as it begins to cure, it's going to, um, yeah, look different. But I just know with the resin you get oh, just unbelievable finish. So I just want to run my finger through. I'm not sure if you can do that, but the just wanted to take it a bit like you would do some wisps when I do my acrylic art. Let's just see if you can do the same slides in, in acrylic art, I mean in resin. So there you go, you can, but the proof is I suppose if it dries, I have definitely not mixed, well that is not mixed I have not mixed it well enough, I don't believe, in with the resin because I've got some little questionable pieces in there. But I'm going to just add some, I suppose I could use a tool or a spatula to do this, but I don't mind doing stuff with my finger painting. So there you go. I mean, I know on camera it does look nothing like how it looks in real life. You know, everybody that's seen the few pieces that I've done um, said they look so much better in real life because the resin is just uh, just oh, unbelievable. I'm going to just go over this with my heat gun and then I'm done. It's just going to be left to cure for, I believe, 12 hours. Probably fully dry will be, I don't know, 24, 48 maybe, I'm not sure. But that's gorgeous. But if anyone can recommend um, what is nice to add to resin to get some sort of cells or well i don't really want cells in my resin i have enough i suppose in my acrylic art but um i love that those colors are i know that they will absolutely pop your socks off when they dry so we'll just leave it to dry people and i hope you enjoyed i hope you do enjoy me doing a little resin piece every now and again um there we go. I will um, just leave it be and take some photos when it's dry. So, oh yeah, it does look so much brighter in real life. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll be back again tomorrow. So take care you people, stay safe and look after one another for sure. Bye for now.